Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are taking a look at an eSIM solution for basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, which gives you more data every month at a really low cost. But this also works with devices that don't necessarily have eSIM technology, you just have to get a physical SIM. So let's check out this really cool data solution. Okay, so obviously this app is called GigSky. I'll have a link down below so you can go and check them out. Basically, they offer data for purchase and that data can be used through the eSIM technology. As I said before, you can also get a physical SIM through them and use that as well for users who don't necessarily have eSIM. So if you don't necessarily want to have a different phone number and all of that, you can basically get this solution and get extra data if you don't want to deal with having a different phone number. You can also use this data internationally in over 190 countries and you can get country packs which really helps with users who are traveling to a lot of countries. So let's go ahead and open the app here. And basically you can see here that we have several different plans here. And I'm going to basically look at the countries that we have here. So the countries that I will be purchasing for is uh, basically North America. So we have the United States and other countries located within North America. So if I were to take a trip, let's say to Canada or Mexico, I could definitely still use this data in those locations. So I'm going to go ahead and just get an extra two gigabytes of data that will cost 30 US dollars. So I can go ahead and buy now and then go ahead and buy the plan. And as the plan is bought, we can then apply it through an eSIM. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to go through and then we'll continue on. Okay, so we are on to the next step here and it shows us that we are going to basically um, go through these steps to install, uh, label, and activate our cellular data plan. So let's go ahead and copy our label and proceed. And we copied it, we'll go ahead and install and as we go through the installation process, you saw there that we have to um, add our cellular plan and then name it. So label for uh, my phone number there will be primary and then secondary. We'll go ahead and type in our custom label and our custom label will be GigSky plan four. And then we have added our eSIM through GigSky. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of action going on in the top right and you can see that basically our plan has changed up here. So we have Verizon for the first, and that is my primary number. And then for the secondary, we have um, basically GigSky connecting here. So that is our secondary. We can access that data. Uh, we'll go into the settings app here and then on to cellular. And then from here, we, you can see that we have two cell plans here listed. So secondary is currently on, and we can go ahead and use GigSky for Wi-Fi calling, calls on other devices and everything like that. Um, this is essentially going to be the same as um, having a, a dual SIM that could have like a phone number. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and test this connection. So we have GigSky here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off this line that I have here, my Verizon line. So as you can see here, we do have GigSky as our main plan here. I've turned Verizon completely off. Uh, we are basically going to go ahead and do a speed test, but before we do that, let's ensure that we turn off Wi-Fi. So we'll go ahead, turn off Wi-Fi. As you can see, we are fully on LTE, fully on data, and we have a pretty healthy connection here. So we'll go over to the speed test app and then go ahead and do our speed test and see what results we are getting specifically for GigSky. So let's go ahead and run the test. As you can see here, the test is running. We're getting some pretty decent results, I'd say, with data, and they are definitely increasing. I think 50 megabytes per second is definitely a really good score. So we'll let the test complete here, but so far, we're off to a pretty good test here. This would definitely be good for media consumption uh, through YouTube or any other media. And as well, if you wanted to upload, obviously you can see here that that connection is really good as well. I'm actually getting similar connections to what the internet we have here at home. So that's a really good um, good upload connection. For the download, I get 200 megabytes off Wi-Fi, but I think 59 is definitely more than enough for uh, any Wi-Fi calling, any um, app downloads or media consumption. That is definitely a good result. So guys, that was GigSky. Again, I'll 
I'll have a link down below where you can go and check out GitSci and maybe purchase data of your own. If you have any questions about this app, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.